John here guys, and today we're talking about the Ishin Cinefun. The Cinefun. I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna have me some fun. Not that you will try to eat it like a Cinnabon. Uh, this is the latest little tiny Cine Whoop, uh, and it's more of the Cine Whoop than your traditional larger one because it is only 37 grams as it sits like this. Very, very tiny. This one has 1080p on board. There is also a 4K version. I'm going to recommend that you get the 4K version, uh, but let's run through all of the specs on how it flies. This has the latest version of the Crazy Bee all in one 5 amp um, flight controller ESC combo. It's using these new 1102 19,000 kV motors and it's powered on 1s 1s but this is a large battery holder guys this is like the same kind of battery holder that you'd see on the Mobula 7 and it's very similar to a Mobula 7 frame it's 75 millimeters and this has four bladed props what does that mean well it means that you're gonna run this large size one cell 650 milliamp battery and because it has an xt30 on there this will actually transfer the power much much better because even though this is a super light 37 gram um, dry weight it's a about twice as heavy as something like the Mobula 6. So you increase all of the specs here and by giving it a little bit larger motor, you actually get some decent flight times. The thing about these size crafts is you can have them either overpowered or underpowered, but usually it's underpowered when you start to get too much weight. But that actually works in your favor when you want to get some smooth HD footage. You don't want it to be twitchy on the sticks. You don't want it to be flying and bobbling and not being able to control it. So that little extra weight combined with a little bit of extra juice actually gives you that smooth stick feel in order to get some nice HD recording. And this thing, depending on which options you choose, this is the TBS Crossfire receiver on here, so I can actually get some good range. It has a video transmitter on board that'll go up to 200 milliwatts. So you could fly this around and get some nice HD or 4K footage. The 1080p version is gonna have the split three light. The 4K version is gonna have the Loris Cadex camera that is 4K. And there is a price difference between the two of those. The 1080p looks pretty good. It looks about as good as an Insta360 Go, which is not spectacular. But if you think about the fact that this entire craft costs the same amount as that camera, it's like, whoa, you basically get a drone for free for a similar amount of footage quality. Uh, it actually comes with four of these little batteries. I mean, that's unheard of. So you do get something for your money. Look at this nice little one cell charger. How do you charge it? Because there's no balance connector. They've omitted that from the battery, but they have this little adapter so that you can charge it via USB. You don't even need a hobby charger for this. In the box, you'll find some tools, prop remover, a little screwdriver, a spare set of props, and some extra little screws and things. And of course, the extra battery. Who is this for? This is for somebody that wants to be able to fly smoothly, have some control, not have something that's gonna fly to the moon, but it does have enough power on tap to do some basic freestyle maneuvers, uh, which is quite nice. Now, I'm not gonna recommend if you get the 1080p version, you go crashing it too hard because this is a really nice glass lens on here. That's part of why the image is actually as good as it is. Um, it fits everything very nicely and this one cell battery that is big fits perfectly in there. It has a capacitor on board that should keep the electronics fairly safe. Um, really nice combination here. I feel like a lot of people are going for the larger two and a half inch to three inch Cinewoops like the Diatone Taken or the Cinespore or things like that but you can a lot of times get a similar amount of quality. Not quite as good because this is not gonna match a GoPro, but for a low price to just be able to get some HD giggles indoors or take it out for a family get together, 37 grams is absolutely not gonna harm anything unless you land it 
in the potato salad at a picnic. So pretty good job on this. You can see, um, because it is so light, it is impacted by wind and you do get a little bit of a pendulum effect if you don't modulate the sticks quite perfectly. So I could use with an extra 30% of power if I could have it, but this is a good compromise. This actually flies a bit better, especially outdoors than the conversion I did from Mobula 6 up to a 75 millimeter. Because this has larger motors, you're gonna get more control. So this is better outdoors, make no mistake, much, much better than that formula. And very nice. What do you think in the comments, guys? Are you even messing with these little 4K and 1080p options or are you going straight to the big dog? This is quiet enough to fly indoors without terrorizing your pets or family or waking up everybody as they're sleeping, which you are likely to do with a full-size Cinewoop. So I think it does have a place for some people. Thanks, guys.